ready for a slugfest. Welcome to the first installment of our slug fest, in which we take one make of uh, slugs and we test them in a number of guns. Today we are going to shoot H&N slugs through each of these seven rifles here. Now we did a video on the H&N slugs and you saw how incredibly well they performed out of an FX air gun and a rapid air weapons air gun. Now those are top of the line high end guns as good as you can get. and. Uh, a lot of you guys want to know how they shoot in more budget-friendly options. So that's what we've done here. Every one of these guns is under $1,000, starting in, with the PCPs, with the $300 gauntlet, and working our way up. We've also included a couple of brake barrels here, because a lot of you want to know how slugs are shooting in brake barrels, so we're going to find out. Now I want to point out that this is not supposed to be a definitive statement on how well any one of these guns will actually shoot the slugs because some of these guns are adjustable and you could tune it uh, you know to get better performance that's not what I've done these are out of the box this is how they come uh, you know in almost every case and uh, we're just gonna see how they do now some of the guns aren't adjustable and what you have to do then is just try out different slugs different sizes and different weights now H&N slugs come in two different sizes uh, the 217 and the 218 and they come in five different weights from you know 21 23 25 27 and 30 and these most of these guns with the exception of the the Condor SS and then also the the Hot Sun and Neutron Star are not extremely powerful air guns so we, we just stuck with lighter slugs and, you know, testing in most cases, nothing over, you know, 25 grains, except in the case of the Condor. And uh, so I've picked out the slug that I think works the best, but again, it's not exhaustive. This is just to give you an idea of how these slugs compare in guns that are really popular, that are really good guns, and that, uh, that many of you own. So with that in mind, let's go ahead Go to the range. We're just going to do 35 yards today. If any of these perform extremely well, then we will go and take them out to 100 yards. But, but for this video, it's only going to be at 35 yards to give us a kind of an orientation of how they do. With it, that's enough talking. Let's go to the range. Now, the first gun we're going to start with is the Umarex Gauntlet. This is the most affordable PCP on our list. And in our Minimal testing that we did ahead of time, we decided that it liked the uh, 218 size uh, 21 grain H&N slugs the best. So that's what we're going to shoot a five shot group of right now. And that's five, and uh, they're shooting about 740 feet per second out of this particular gauntlet, and they load really easily into the breech. Uh, there's no, no resistance, it's also pleasant to shoot. Moving up the list and up in price, we have the Benjamin Marauder. Now, I was excited about this one in particular because it wasn't scoped up, so I put on this new uh, Miopta Optica 6 4.5 to 27 by 50 scope that I just got in today to start testing. We'll be doing a review on it soon, so stay tuned for that. I can tell you right away, though, that I really like it. So the Marauder, again, in our very minimal testing, seemed to like the 218 size and the 21 grain slug. So we'll send five of them downrange and see how it does.
a very nice group down there. Uh, you probably noticed that they loaded really stiffly. I had to, you know, support the gun as I seated them into the breech. Otherwise, really nice shooting uh, slugs in this gun. Moving along, we've got the Condor SS. Now, this is my personal air gun. It's the, one of the first PCPs I ever bought years and years ago. But it does have the new ring lock system, making this thing an absolute beast. It's shooting the 25 and 27 grain slugs at uh, you know, well over 1,000 feet per second. And it likes both of them. We're going to do the, the 25 grain slugs and see how it does here. And that's five. Next up we have the Zabroya Hortizia. And again, it liked the 218 size uh, 21 grain slugs. Now, loading them into this clip magazine, what, I've, what I like to do is just take and just touch them in a little farther, not much, uh, but that just gets them nice and snug against the rubber, the, the rubber O-ring that holds them in place. That way when you're out in the field jostling them around, they're not going to come back out. I think it shot those better when I was testing, but, uh, but that's how it shot the group, so there you go. You'll notice again that they loaded in pretty stiffly into the breech. I had to, you know, pinch it to get them to go in. But that's five. Next up, we have the Hatsun Neutron Star. Now, this is a very powerful air gun, and like the pellets, a little bit heavier. Uh, so the ones we found it liked, again, in very minimal testing, was the 217 head size and uh, the 23 grain uh, weight. So let's see how it does here. And that's five. Next up is the SIG ASP-20, and we're going to shoot the 217 size 21 grain slugs now. And I found that with these shorter slugs, I need to take something and just gently seat them uh, to keep them there in the breech. I'm going to send one down, one more down range, just because I think that kind of wild flyer was me.
And there's five, six. Last but not least, we've got the Gamma Swarm Magnum here. It's a multi-shot repeater, so I've got uh, five of the 0 0.218, 21 grain uh, slugs loaded up here. I also point out that I've got the Hawk Air Max 30 Compact scope on here, one of my favorite little scopes. Springer rated 30 millimeter tube, you know, really good value here. So let's uh, see how she does. And that's five. Well, I hope you're still watching. We've made it through all that shooting. And now, well, let's look at the targets. The first one up is the Umarex Gauntlet. Now, this is the .218 size and the 21 grains. And the group, uh, center to center, is .6661 uh, in width. And uh, that's, you know, not, not too bad. Not a bad start heading out here at 35 yards. Next one up, though, is the Marauder. Same exact slug, 0.218 size, or, uh, size and 21 grains. Now this is 0.44 inches center to center at 35 yards, and quite a respectable group there. Then we have the Condor SS. This is the tw uh, 218 size, 25 grains, and uh, we're at 0 0.27 inches. So sub minute of angle, at 35 yards and uh, I mean a really nice round group there. I'm really, really pleased with that. I, I know I've, I've shot slugs in, in, the, in my Condor uh, you know, a number of times and it, it always performs really well. Really powerful, so that is a, is a really good slug gun. Now the Hortizia, the 218, uh, 21 grain. Uh, this put four out of five in .44 inches. Uh, this one over here brought it out to just under an inch. So this gun is incredibly accurate with, with pellets, but uh, you know, only so-so with slugs here. Now the Neutron Star, we had a similar sort of group. This one did like the 217 uh, size and the 23 grain, and it put four out of the five in .43 inches. Uh, this one opened it up to, to one inch. Then the ASP-20. Now, uh, I've had, you know, pretty decent luck shooting slugs out of this gun before, but today it just didn't want to do it. Uh, the best we got with the 217 size and the 21 grain was, uh, you know, just, you know, a little bit over an inch, 1.17 inches there. And the Gamma Swarm Maxim uh, was the worst group of the, of, of the bunch at 1.35 inches. And, uh, you know, I've, I've never been able to get this gun to shoot, but I know some of you have. And I know you guys have informed me how, to, how I'm supposed to be shooting this gun. It's, it's never worked out for me. But there's a good chance that you could probably get the slugs to shoot better than I can. But uh, that's our groups. By far the best was the Condor SS. Uh, the Marauder was also good. And, and uh, you know, not a bad showing overall, but there's a few things that we need to consider when you're shooting slugs. Uh, first is you're going to have to clean the barrel more often, especially if your gun has a choked barrel, which uh, the vast majority of them do. I mean, in this group, the only one that doesn't is the SIG ASP-20. So that, uh, you know, right there where at the base of the choke, it's going to start, uh, you know, accumulating lead. You'll have to clean that out more often is typically the case. Um, n apart from the Condor SS and then to a lesser degree the Hot Sun, uh, most of these guns were shooting 
the slugs a little bit lower than is optimal. The brake barrels were shooting them in the 600s. Uh, you know, a lot of the other guns were shooting them in the, in the 700s. Uh, that's lower than you need really to get optimal stabilization. So even if it's doing all right at uh, you know, 30 yards, you're probably going to have the groups open up even more past that. Now, we can generalize a little bit from the groups that we've shot here. We have seen that the size that most of these guns liked was the 218, and uh, they liked typically the lower weight pellets, so the, or slugs. So the 21 grain and the 23 grain, you know, except for the Condor, which liked them, you know, the 25 and 27. So that gives you kind of a starting point. But again, what I would really recommend is you pick up the two sampler packs from H&N, and then you've got slugs to test and you'll find which one of those your gun likes the best. The other thing is you're not going to get much expansion at these lower, uh, you know, at these lower velocities. The H&N slugs are a little bit harder alloy and they don't have a really deep hollow point so they're not incredibly expansive slugs to begin with and at these velocities you're just not going to get much expansion. You're going to get just complete pass through in most cases. So you'll have to be especially careful of your backstops because, uh, and, and, and whatever, the backdrop, whatever is behind your target because it's probably just going to keep going through. So I hope you found this video helpful, give you kind of an orientation, an idea of how these slugs perform in uh, guns that are the more, you know, typical air guns that most of us have. And if you've enjoyed it, give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd appreciate that. It keeps you uh, in touch for when we release more uh, slug videos. We're going to do with all of the the major manufacturers and uh, do the exact same thing. So check us out on our other social media platforms and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.